Hi everybody. Uh, real quick, I wanted to let you know that I really appreciate your your hanging in there and your patience. This summer has been rough for me. With I kept getting retinal tears and then I had eye surgery. So my YouTube channel kind of paused and stalled out. And now I'm feeling inspired and I've got some um, videos on deck for you. So what I'd like to do is just make a little announcement. I'm planning on Thursdays just um, sharing a new video with you on Thursdays, something that you can count on and maybe look forward to. And if it's helpful, please share. So I'm going to start that today with this next one that you're here for. And I'm wondering about, uh, because there was a pause in my activity, maybe you're not getting notifications that I, I put out a new video. So maybe you want to hit that, hit the bell and um, you'll get notifications, but be looking for new videos on Thursdays. Thanks and hope you enjoyed this video. Hi again. Well, it's early. I'm about to start my work day. Here I am back in my office space that I get to use in the end of August, which, well, whenever it's nice weather, I can be out here. Um, it's especially nice right now. As you probably remember, I've got those lovely hibiscus Anyway, my um, video today that I, I was inspired to um, make was based on a comment that somebody had made, which is, um, I wish I could remember my session. I have sessions with my therapist and I don't remember half of it. And for people with DID and any form of dissociation, that's very common and I have over my years of working with people. Um, I have three different strategies for you today. Whether you're a therapist and you might want to start doing this, you may already do it, I bet you do. Um, or if you're somebody that's going to therapy and you dissociate and you really have no memory, how can we be processing things really if, if we don't remember? Uh, sometimes I feel, however, caveat to that, when I'm working with a little part uh, and that part like gets something like, oh, okay, well that makes sense. Like something they were kind of hung up on and I help them with some reality testing that, that makes sense to them. It actually does help the whole system calm down. But what I always do with that is I let the main person know. So my three ideas for that are number one, I do have a private portal where is, I use uh, the platform Simple Practice. There's a private messaging feature. So I will write down uh, the experience, like who came out. If the main person is present and they leave present, I don't do this. But if there was significant work done with other parts of them, different personalities came out, uh, and I know the person won't, remember that I will write it up in a message and and I'll send it to them and yes the, this is this takes time um, I my whole caseload is not people with DID so I, I, I can manage that because not everybody um, requires um, such a thing uh, but that seems to be super helpful Another option is if it's a, a significant session and a lot has happened and I know the person isn't going to remember, um, I'll reach out to them and say, would you like to schedule a 25 minute consultation, like a phone call in between our normally scheduled? So that's something that, that they would pay for, um, the 25 minute session. And I, I share with them what transpired, who came out, what was said, and kind of the, the ending. And that's very helpful. And then <clears throat> the, there goes a pileated, no, that's a blue jay. It's so big, I thought it was a pileated woodpecker. Shiny thing, squirrel. Um, the third thing is I'll encourage the person themselves, and, and lots of times people just do this organically, if they're in a freeze state, well, not total freeze, but kind of shut down, and uh, some information is being exchanged, but a lot isn't, when they leave and over time, if they come back online, I encourage them to write 
what, what was going on internally or sometimes different memories um, are elicited and it's difficult for them to be present and to discuss it in the session if they write it up, put it in notes or type it up and then bring it to the session. Sometimes people have emailed me that and that takes a lot of my time and I don't have time to read long, you know, processing um, things. It's very important for the person. And then if they bring it, they can share snippets with me or, or we can read it together. So the two of the things involve the therapist. I write something and send it to them privately or we set up a consultation between sessions so I can share that with them or the third one is they write up what, what was elicited for them or what they were thinking of that they couldn't necessarily share in the session. So hope you have a great day and we'll be talking to you.